So what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the farm vlog at Hidden Heights Farm. And yes, it is still white. Um, you guys seen the kids video we did the other day. And actually got a video in between there. It's me building the gate for the feed bunk in the goat barn. But yeah, we still got snow on the ground, so it's still a pain to try to do anything outside. But you gotta, when you're a farmer, you got animals, you still gotta tend to them. Uh, just cause it snows don't mean you can just stay in the house. These turkeys knows it's dinner time and I'm sure you can hear the goats all crying. So I'm not gonna do too much today. I'm gonna take you guys along today. We got some pregnant fat goats and these girls are starving. Uh, they got about, oh, I should have some babies on the ground around the 1st of January. But if this weather stays up like it is, um, a lot of times on the farm, when it gets really cold and these, these winter storms come along, if you got a goat within a couple weeks of having babies, uh, in our experience, a lot of times if a bad cold storm comes through, a lot of times they'll have those babies right in the middle of that. I don't know what it is, but talking to cattle farmers and some other livestock owners, it seems like it's, it, it's pretty natural to happen with all kinds of different livestock. So it wouldn't be surprised if I come out here any day and there'd be babies on the ground. So I got to do, you know, I got to come out here and check all the time because with these freezing temperatures, you got newborn babies on the ground. If one of these mamas goes way out here in the pasture and has babies on this ice or this snow, they could potentially freeze to death. Uh, luckily, these Kikos in Spanish are very hardy and we have not had any problem with that, but we got to keep our eye out. So I'm going to grab some food and uh, we'll go into the goat barn where the Kikos are first and feed them and then we'll go over and see the... See the chickens, turkeys, mojo, and the uh, pygmy kikos. And the kids have still been coming out every day after they finish their uh, schoolwork. They're doing remote school now. They're off for quarantine until 1st of the year, 1st of January, whatever. Um, Skeeter just kind of did his thing on their little fort they built out of snow. <laughs> What's he doing? Let's see. Skeeter. What you doing? Huh? You playing in their fort? Yeah, he says, I'm going to help them build it. <laughs> goofball. So anyways, guys, I'm going to get, grab some feed and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll meet back at the barn. Turkeys can get some and chickens. Alright guys, bear with me. We're gonna try to film and feed the goats at the same time. Let's just see how well this works. You ready for your food? Huh? Hold on, days. All right, guys, you can see everybody wants to congregate right here at the front. But as far as the feeder goes, it is working out awesome. But we are not done. We still got to finish this little jump gate for Daisy. With the weather and everything, I have been so busy with everything going on. And you got chickens in here. But anyways, you can see how well this is working out. And even though I did have one goat on that back side, I didn't get trampled. Walk around here. But 
the gate is working out great. Um, I am going to have to do some uh, beefing up on this thing. I pretty much knew I would. I was just trying to get the idea to get this thing built and then go from there. But going back, what I should have did is I should have concreted these upright posts in the ground because once I first come in here, they pretty much push on that wall and it does move it just a little bit. I got it braced right now with the little two by four on the ground. That's just temporary, but it does help from uh, them pushing it. But I have a, a lot of options I could do. I could build like a shelf up here where I could store hay. Uh, that's an idea. And I could uh, use these posts for my support to build a platform up there. And by doing that, that would actually push on these right here and keep them stable to where they can't push on this whole wall whenever I come in to feed. But as you can see, it's actually working out quite well. And Miss Daisy's eating back there. I'm getting her used to eating in here for now before I actually put up the little jump gate. And as you can tell, their hay is pretty much gone. So we're going to have to get them a hay bale. They still got some hay down here they can eat. That's not totally uh, wasted yet. They haven't done their duty on all that yet but and then, then you got the chickens that hang out in here that do the cleanup crew then you get the ones that aren't very bright that think they can come back here and eat <laughs> what do you think missy hmm? what do you think miss daisy that food good huh Giving you lots of energy to stay warm at night. Yeah, here's a good girl. Good girl. Alright, I'm gonna go uh, finish feeding, checking everybody's water. Let's go check their water real quick. I just noticed this on the side of the barn where that snow's starting to uh, slide off the tin roof. Look at that. It's pretty cool looking actually. So right now, I'm still trying to feed uh, the feed that is left in the feed bin from last winter into spring. Uh, we had a lot left in there, and uh, that's not normally the stuff we feed for winter. The stuff we feed for winter has more of a corn content in it, chopped corn. So uh, I'm trying to get that finished off, and as soon as we do, we'll go fill that feed bin back up with our normal winter ration. What do you know? You ready to eat? What do you think of this snow? Everybody said, hey, we finally seen Mojo out and about. You like the snow or not? He said, I like my food and that's what I want. Right. Lead the way, sir. Come on, lead the way. So, one funny thing I, I thought about this the other day and I didn't really talk about it is, you see Mojo in all these videos and everybody's like, oh, he's so beautiful and white. But look how uh, white he is compared to the snow. Snow Mojo. Snow Mojo. You look really dirty. Compared to the uh, brilliant white snow, does that offend you? Huh? <laughs> Come on, sweet. There he goes. So I just thought that was funny. Everybody thinks he's so white, but now when he's actually on a uh, pure white background, look at him. Not so white. What do you think? You're tough? Huh? You think you're tough? Get him! Get him, Skeet! Get him! Don't back down from the big beast. Mojo, does he irritate you, boy? Huh? Does he irritate you? Come on, Skeet. Alright. This is hard to do with a camera in my hand and a bucket of feed, so... I'm gonna go back to setting this up. Alright. Come on, Turkey. Come on, Turkey. Come on. I tried to throw the chicken some over in the mud and the grass where there's no snow so they can stand and eat without it uh, freezing their food off.
Hope you're not eating that goat food, Steve. All right, guys. You guys remember Chip, our only male over here? He's kind of shaking. He's so cold, but you can really see his uh, moon spots, his dark moon spots right now. And he's got his typical Jerk Face Junior stripe down his back. Well, Jerk Face and Jerk Face Junior. But so right now, I do not have heaters in their water. Uh, at night, it does freeze, but then as soon as the uh, sun comes up in the morning. The freezing temperatures are gone and it's actually cheaper just to uh, dump out the ice and refill it than it is to uh, run the heaters all day long and all night so Their hay bale is just about gone as well. You can see these little pockets they get, they make underneath there. They burrow down in there and they get all the goody hay out from the middle. And uh, as soon as we start having babies, they'll be sleeping in there all the time. If you guys have been following us last year when we had all the babies on the ground, if you come out here to do counts on the kids and half the time you can't find half of them and they're all curled up in the little ball underneath the hay bales, staying all warm and cozy so I don't expect there to be very many eggs right now we'll see I haven't really been feeding a uh, laying ration I've just been giving the chickens like our goat feed and I do not see any eggs wonder if they're laying somewhere else so guys, we're over here on the hillside of our property and our goats can get down there still. And when it's this cold, I always like to come over here and just kind of look around to make sure there's no goats stuck in a fence or anything because these temperatures get so cold at night that they wouldn't last long if they got stuck probably, so. But we got an awesome view. It's beautiful up here as well, so I don't mind taking extra time to come over here just to check. A lot of times you can see eagles and hawks and other animals roosting up here in these trees as well trying to catch on the fat rabbit for dinner so guys that's pretty much today's video i'm just going to talk to you guys for just a minute while these goats are sitting back here eating uh, i'm just going to sit out here and enjoy some crisp air it's almost dark time uh, this time of year the sun goes down so early and with the time change you don't have a lot of time after work to get things done but one thing I've got to finish on the project is the jump gate for Daisy or whatever livestock guardian dog comes down the road. We're going to try this out. I don't know if it's going to work and that's why I've been kind of hesitant about doing it. I hate to put all the time and effort and material into building this thing and it not work. But we'll never know until we try. And it's not like it's going to cost us a lot of money because we're using all this lumber from the uh, sawmill that Dutch is... Uh, has over here on our property still he's been nice enough to let us use it and uh, we should have some more logs coming in soon uh, we got some family members that's had some trees cut down and uh, down at the creek I'm gonna try to do some video series down at the creek there's actually some trees down in the creek I need to go drive down and see that has been washed into the creek and the swimming area and stuff for years and years I need to go down and see if that's something that we can recover and maybe we can do a swamp man or axe man type thing. Um, years ago, when our family first bought that creek, we would go down in like March. And my brother-in-law had a bulldozer at that time down there. And we would actually go down, dive into the water in the March, April time frame when the water is still super cold. The temperatures outside were super cold. And we'd actually recover these logs. And at that time, we just cut them up for firewood if they were good hardwood. But man, they were some beautiful logs. And I hope uh, maybe... Every time it rains, hope, hopefully it'll uh, kind of wash that gravel. It changes every time it floods pretty good. 
and sometimes you can find logs in there that's been there for no telling how many years maybe you know 50 80 100 years there's no telling and if you guys watch like swamp man or i can't remember that tv series if you guys watch that on tv where they go down and recover the old logs that's been under the lakes and the rivers and all that for hundreds of years and stuff that stuff makes beautiful lumber so hopefully one day we can do a little uh, exploring down there hopefully pretty soon and uh, see if we can't take the Kubota down there and maybe recover some logs to bring home to put on the sawmill and uh, make some furniture uh, I've got a few things I have not talked about coming in the works I've got some uh, new woodworking equipment in the shop that I haven't showed you guys yet so stay tuned for that hopefully we can get to uh, making some stuff if, so if you guys caught one of the last videos I posted on here I put a little uh, couple of pictures up of the kitchen table that we made out of oak lumber and that is in our house now so hopefully I can start doing some stuff like that um, I'm trying to get my hands on some uh, other wood like some walnut and some other colors to work in there so hopefully that works out but stay tuned for that we got some things coming hopefully it's just right now things have been slow around here trying to get prepared for all these baby goats and then trying to deal with all this weather the kids are doing uh, virtual learning from home again and I'm still working and Rachel's still working so we don't have a lot of time to get things done but we still try to get it done so anyways you guys thank you so much for watching I'm gonna head to the house and uh, get that wood stove loaded back up to keep it warm and uh, leave a comment down below like this video if you're not subscribed please subscribe and we'll see you next time